Yes, my, my name is Ted Unes and uh, I am uh, living in Oslo, the capital of Norway. And I have worked for the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation for about uh, 31 years, but uh, I'm a traditional librarian, I will stress that, I was an educated librarian. And uh, now I'm retired, but I have my own little private company and I still continue to do what I was taught to do. Uh, working for um, uh, libraries, uh, audiovisual libraries, and especially my speciality is that we need uh, a profound content description of the material and that you have to return to the basic rules of archiving, which means that a tool is a tool, digitalization is only a tool, and we have to uh, take the material very serious for reusing for academic, uh, for uh, students, for people in general. The new technology and digitalization means that everyone can get access to the material. New production is possible. And uh, it is very important for any, any democratic society to uh, continue with this policy. answer to that question is uh, history. We need history, we need to study more history, we need to study the past, we need to uh, get access to old material, we need to get access to history alive, the visual history is very important. We, we must, we are now in Mexico, we must learn to view how Mexicans lived here for 50 years ago and we can do it now. We have a chance now to preserve all the material what is going on. So I think is the key word is history, history studies uh, and review the history. But we need to have, we need to use movies, we need to see people, we need to see the faces, we need to see, discover the body language, how they talk, how they walk, how they love in different ways modern and old-fashioned, uh, we need to see the cloth, and all this is very important uh, when, when you have get access to uh, audiovisual material. That's very important. You can, you can read about Mexico City, but you must smell it, you must feel it, you must listen to the uh, taxis driving around, and you must feel the pollution too. Okay. Yes and no, both. Uh, uh, it was important to make that decision, uh, and it's more even to, uh, to to evaluate that important decision now in the times where you see that uh, valuable buildings are destroyed in different parts of the world. Libraries have been destroyed. Uh, I've said a lot of that. It's important that we have an international organization that push on. Um, to avoid the destructions of historical monuments, uh, uh, books burning, shouldn't be allowed to, become, to, to burn any books more, and uh, you have to have an international organization to um, evaluate that. I think it's very, very important that every country in Latin America realize that they have a history. And history means that history means more than a huge book uh, made uh, after two, three years. It also means sound recordings and uh, film uh, recording. Movies, movies are, are important. And I think it's, uh, it's the correct time uh, to make a very strong political uh, pressure on every government in this uh, uh, Latin American to, to tell the Latin Americans that they really have a um, history. 